No, my graphics cards doesn't turned up yet, and a few of the screen capture programs I've tried are fucking crap. Anyway, so shadow play of a new graphics card needs to be used. Right, I found this crap on eBay. This is the latest fantastic thing, complete with bloated capacitors. See the green capacitors at the back there? They're probably um, Tipu RAM capacitors, they're blown. Look at that uh, lovely uh, old school memory there, that's SD RAM. This is an Acer server. It's got one power supply, it would be hot for a boy if there was two. Floppy drive, presumably a CD ROM drive. A bunch of hard drive caddies at the front, presumably SCSI. Anyway, so it's a dual Pentium 3. I'm guessing 1200 mega. Yeah. So it's got two times Pentium 3s in it. It's got CPU code there. What code? What is that? So. One times 250 watt PSU. Well, how times change? 250 watts is probably a lot back then. I guess it's a penny and four at 1.13 gigahertz, according to this anyway. So they want 240 pounds for this old Pentium 3 server. This thing is ancient. It's a penny and three, so that's what? Mid 2000s? No, sorry, mid 2000s, no, early 2000s. Like. 2001, 2002, <laughs> and it's got, let's look at the specs in full, 512 megabytes of RAM times 4, so 2 gigabytes of RAM, woohoo, 318.4 gigabyte hard drives, 60 gigabytes in total, a Netgear GA311 network adapter, PCI, presumably that's the uh, Ethernet card, it is. <laughs> okay, scuzzy on the back there, so it's definitely scuzzy drives. 240 quid. Are you mad? This thing is technically e-waste. I mean, you could do some cool stuff with it as a, on a hobbyist level, but this kind of stuff is worth nothing. Like, really? What other crap have they got for sale that's ridiculously overpriced? Okay, this looks like it's just going to be full of overpriced shite. Uh, various drives, cards. Uh, uh, 55 Xeon. So, this is a blade server? No, it's not a blade server. It's actually a. Oh, no, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is a blade. Yeah, it is. £312 for that. It's a better deal than was it? So, they must have got the price wrong with the Ace of one, surely. Surely, I can't be right. School Xeon, 12 core, it's not that old, but yeah, it's a very unusual. Uh, <laughs> Xeon, 2.7 gigahertz, 30 megabytes of cache, 12 cores. That was made in like 2011. It's still a pretty fast chip, I'm pretty sure of that. But even by today's standards, I imagine that's pretty quick. Right, that concludes this video on this um, machine. It looks like they just got the price wrong on that one. But if they didn't, leave a comment below as to why you think it might be valuable. I really didn't see anything that worth too much about it other than its retro appeal being a Pentium 3. That concludes this video. See you later.